Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a big thrifting haul as well as some cool art pieces I picked up at an estate sale and I thought I would show them to you. Alright, if you're new here, I'm Claire. My channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff, so definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you are into any of that. Today I have just been thrifting, which is one of my favorite things to do. I absolutely love to find amazing vintage things as well as clothing. I love to just get great deals and also recycle things. I think it's great. I donate tons of our stuff um, to our local stores and I in turn also buy a lot of things there as well. So I have some kid things, some clothes to try on for you, um, and then also today I went to a really cool estate sale and I picked up some amazing art. If uh, you've been following along with me, you'll know I just bought this house and it is a uh, mid-century uh, sort of design and I'm trying to decorate it uh, with like the mid-century modern feel. So uh, I'm really excited about what I found at this estate sale. Uh, but yeah, let's get started on what I found at the thrift store. Okay, the first thing I picked up is this blanket. This is a crocheted blanket. It is huge, and it is very of that sort of mid-century time period. Um, but I think it's amazing, and somebody, you know, made this by hand. A lot of work went into this, and so uh, the thought of it just sitting at a thrift store when it could be home here with me and we could love it, you know, in our family, I just think, like, I want someone's really hard work to go to family that will love it. So I thought it would look great in the house. And I only paid three dollars for it. I couldn't believe that. Three dollars. I can't imagine how much time this took to make. But I just thought this blanket was so cool. And I had to get it. Next I picked up a little something for the boys. A Chia Pet. Because every child slash human being needs Chia Pet at some point in their life. And this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I thought it was so funny. And it's brand new. It's still like in the packaging. So I thought um, it was $3. I thought that was a good deal for this. Um, our One of my favorite thrift stores that we go to has like a whole section of like new things that people donate. So uh, I can usually find some really great stuff in there. And I thought the boys would absolutely love a dinosaur Chia Pet. So I've never done a Chia Pet. If you've done one with success, what are your secrets? Tell me down below. Next I picked up some DVDs. For a really long time my husband and I haven't been purchasing DVDs because we like always watch YouTube or Netflix or Hulu. And then when we moved to this house and we didn't have internet for a few days we were like totally lost and I thought well some things just aren't on there so like we should probably acquire some DVDs. So we're finally starting like a children's DVD collection. These were all a quarter and they were buy two get one free. So we got Tangled, which is a Disney movie that I've actually never seen, so I might need to watch this later today. We also got Anastasia, a classic. We got Ice Age. And we got Cars. And there's one more that didn't make it in here. I think it was Kung Fu Panda. It's already out in the living room with my children. Next, I picked out a couple of books. I love buying books at the thrift store. There's no reason to spend a bunch of money on books. Go to the library or go to the thrift store and then when you're done with them, just donate them back. Just constantly be switching them out. Um, I just, I always get books. And this thrift store that we go to, if you bring your children with you, you always get a free book for them, no matter what. So, um, even though these were like a quarter anyway, the first one I got is called The Truck Book. And it's just, each page has uh, different trucks on it, and they're all like labeled on like what type they are. And both my three-year-old and my almost two-year-old are into that sort of like, what's its official name? You know, instead of like a story style book, it's like a what is this book? And they both really love that. So I grabbed that book for them. I also got a similar book called Things That Go. And um, these like style of books, there's like a farm one and like a fruit one where they just have like the pictures that you like lift up. And it's also like not a story style book. My kids love these, especially my little one. My oldest went through the phase where he was really into these two, but my little one is in it right now, and he is obsessed with these. Would much rather have, uh, like, this style book than to, like, sit and hear a story. He wants to know what everything is called. He wants to know the color of everything. He's really starting to build up his vocabulary. So I saw this, and I was like, perfect. So each of the boys got a book. All right, the next 
things I got are actually clothing and as a plus size person shopping at a thrift store isn't always great you really don't have a lot of selection and depending on the thrift store it really has to be organized well um, the one that I went to today they have everything organized by size but like there's a volunteers of America in my city that it sorts things by color and like it's a nightmare like I just don't ever even go there because it's impossible to go through all of their clothing and try to find something that could possibly fit you so I really like that it's separated nicely and I actually got some really good plus size finds today um, at the thrift store so I'm actually gonna try them all on for you and you guys can just let me know what you think in the comments down below okay so the first thing I picked up is this skirt it's got like all these little ruffled layers which I thought was so so cute and it actually is from Lane Bryant, so it's like a good, solid brand. It's well made, and it was only $3.75. And I actually don't own any skirts. I own one skirt, so this is my second skirt ever. Um, so I've decided I'm gonna give skirts a go this summer, so today I was looking for more like skirt and dress sort of ideas, but I thought it was super cute. It's actually a size 16. I normally wear like an 18 or mostly a 20, so, um, but with skirts, you kind of just never know like where it's going to hit you. And, you know, my baby's made my body all funky. So I'm like different sizes like everywhere on my body. But, uh, yeah, so I just didn't know until I tried it on. But I decided that I liked it. I thought I looked like a cupcake. So what's not to love about that? All right, the next thing I got is another skirt. And this one I thought was super fun because it's so flowy and like... I don't know, I don't go dancing, but if I did, I would wear this, a skirt. Um, so I thought it was just like a nice basic color, um, like pretty flattering, it doesn't like hug me around like the post baby area, so um, yeah, I thought it was really cute. And this skirt was also $3.75, um, it's not like a brand name that I recognized, um, but it's really like comfy, stretchy fabric, so uh, definitely looking forward to wearing it this summer. Okay, next I scored this dress, which I think is my favorite thing I got. It has pockets, and I think the cut is just really flattering on my body. I like um, where it goes in at my waist. Um, I think it's just really flattering. Again, this one is from Lane Bryant, and it's actually a size 20, which kind of shows you like the variance of my amazing buddy. But yeah, this one was a little bit pricier. I paid just over $8 for it. Um, it was in like the nicer stuff section. Uh, but I mean, it's in really fabulous shape and I think I will really enjoy wearing it this summer. All right, so those are all the things I got thrifting today. Next, I'm gonna show you the amazing art I picked up at an estate sale today. It was actually a neighbor of mine growing up. He was very, very old, him and his wife. He died a few years ago, he was in his 90s, and his wife finally died too. She was 105 years old, and they were both artists, and they had this very eclectic home. Um, I always loved like walking by it in the windows. They always had interesting artwork, and on Halloween, um, you could go into his shop and he made s'mores for all the kids. So I had a lot of fond memories like of this very interesting house, and so today was the estate sale, and I wanted so bad to have a little piece of them uh, to put in my house somewhere and there was so much incredible art there um, that I had to buy like a ton of cool stuff. So what I'm about to show you, I have five pictures that I purchased, uh, two are charcoal, three are paintings and um, I only paid $20 a piece for all of them. He had just stacks of them in his basement and they are from the late 40s and the early 50s. So yeah, here we go. Here is the first one I got. I thought it was so beautiful and in my new house I have this like built-in buffet area and I really wanted three um, sort of abstract, unique, colorful pieces to hang inside there. Um, so when I saw this I thought it was perfect. Don't know which way I'm gonna hang it yet. Um, but there were several like in this style. So I picked three that were gonna go together. So this is the first one. <clears throat> This is the second one. I thought that this one was very interesting. The first one I showed you was like a little bit softer. This one has some like harsher lines in it and I thought um, that it would look really nice together. It also has this like gray blue color that I've done an accent wall in my home um, and some of my other art uh, has this sort of like dark jewel tone blue in it so I thought that this would uh, really bring that in nicely. Of course I am going to need to frame all of these so that is another 
added expense. I did look at the thrift store to see if they had any good frames because that's a really good place to get frames, but they didn't. So I'm probably going to have to go back to Ikea to grab some frames for these. But I just thought they were so beautiful and so interesting. Um, and I just love like to own a piece of them. This is the third one. Uh, so I think that all three of these will look very interesting next to each other. And I love that, you know, I knew this man that, uh, that I'll have, you know, a piece of him, you know, in my home and, and it's just cool to me. So I really, really loved these super colorful pieces. The next two are charcoal drawings and, um, I just was very, uh, taken aback by them. Uh, the first one is of a woman and I thought this was just really beautiful and I, I just, yeah, I really, I really liked it. So I grabbed it. Also, it's double sided. So if ever I get sick of her, I can throw him up and honestly, he looks pretty good too. He's got that blue in it as well. So this would look really great in my house, but I just thought, um, but they just had so much feeling and so much depth and I really really like them. So I grabbed this one. And then the other one I grabbed is this one. And these are like really, really old. I mean, these are from the 50s and they are uh, all intact. I'm sure this paper probably wasn't this color when it started, but I just think that they're so beautiful and so interesting and have so much like soul to them that I really wanted them to become a piece of like my home. So uh, that is the art that I chose and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty excited. They do do the estate thing where like the first day everything is full price, the second day is like 25% off and the last day everything is half off. I was eyeballing a couple like really massive pieces of art. Um, so I'm gonna go back on the last day and if they're still there and I can get them for half off then I might get some of those big whopping pieces, but we'll see. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you have found some inspiration to go thrifting or garage sailing or check out um, some estate sales near you. You don't always have to go on Amazon or Target. I mean, those places are really great, don't get me wrong. Um, but there are lots of great things that already exist that have already been loved that could use a new home. And I think it's great to recycle these things and also great for your budget. So think about maybe doing that this weekend. Get out there and see... Uh, See what you can rescue from these places and give new life to. Of course, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. It's totally free and I would love to have you along. I post new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!